Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be playing through, um, I guess you could call it a challenge, maybe? But I was just kind of thinking, you know how The Sims is like a simulation game, so really you should be able to recreate most things if you put a spin on it. And I thought today I would put that to the test. So I'm going to be playing through a little challenge that I made based off of a game called Bug Snacks. It's not a new game or anything, but I've been playing it a lot recently and it kind of, I guess, sort of inspired this idea. If you haven't played the game before, I'll just kind of explain it. If I can find like a trailer or some kind of visual to put on screen, then I will. But if there isn't any, then probably because it was copyright striked. But basically, the whole idea of that game is that you land in this island, which is like isolated from everyone else. And it's like a little mini town of people. They're Well, they're called Grumpuses. They're not like humans or anything. The Sims 4 doesn't have Grumpuses, so I kind of made them like furries, I guess. <laughs> but basically, they live on this little island and they have to fend for themselves, you know, sort out their own food and shit like that, keep themselves entertained. And they feed themselves by catching bug snacks. That's probably going to be the main element that's going to be missing from this video. Because The Sims 4 doesn't have, you know, bug snacks. But when you do land in this weird island, um, you find that there's only one Grumpus living there. All of the others have ran away. And you have to complete little missions to bring them back home to populate your little village, I guess. So that is kind of what we're doing today. So we are starting off in, I guess, my version of Snacktooth Island. It's an isolated little plot of land with these little huts here that once had little furry people living in them. But something terrible happened to this island and they, they ran away. They left. And so we just have, I guess, the mayor of this town, Arvin. He's a raccoon. And yeah, I know, it's just a cast object, but I think you'll find, seen as I have set every single outfit he has as a raccoon, that for all intents and purposes, this is a raccoon. Okay, it's not Sim wearing a costume. It's a real-life raccoon. Okay? So he lives here by himself. All of his friends have gone. And in today's video, we're going to be completing a few small tasks to try and repopulate our little village of, I don't know, Sim Snacktooth. Didn't put much thought into the name, but there is a reason why we need his friends to come back, not just to avoid loneliness, but because every little creature that lives here has their own purpose. You might notice over here there's a little hut that is able to have farm animals, gardening, and all that shit. So the creature that used to live here, we really need to bring him back because we're not going to stand much chance of survival around here if we don't have someone growing crops and getting produce from animals. The sim that lives in this hutch is like the chef. They do all the cooking, so obviously they need to come back so that we have some way of eating food. So yeah, the main goal here is to try and repopulate this little island with all our friends so that we stand a better chance of survival. So Arvin, we got a little bit of work to do, buddy. Our friends have all ran away. They're scattered around various different worlds in The Sims 4 and we need to go and get them. I kind of made this mission uh, kind of focused around collectibles. There's going to be a lot of make-believe, I think, in this video. But there are certain things that we have to collect to be able to obtain the map to find our friends. And all of the collections are in rows of three. So if we collect three fish, then we'll unlock the map to go and get one of our little buddies. If we collect three crystals, we'll get another map to go and find some more buddies. If we find three frogs, we can find more buddies, three harvestables, and three postcards. So those are all the things that we're going to be trying to collect. And I've noticed, Arvid, seeing as you're already on the computer and we, we do need to collect postcards, let's start off by finding a pen pal. I think we should find multiple pen pals because I'm pretty sure pen pals are the only way you can get postcards. Unless you just cheat and go into build and buy, which... I'm going to try to avoid doing, I'll only cheat if absolutely necessary, but I'm going to try not to cheat here. Okay, we've posted to the pen pal forum, so I guess we'll just wait and see. And in the meantime, so I do have a list of all the things I need to collect and who that collection unlocks. So, a little bit of planning involved here, not too much. 
But every collection, or I should say most collections, have some kind of link to the skills of my little buddies. So, for example, if we collect three fish, then we'll find the map to a creature that is very good at fishing and therefore can help us with this pond. You know, that kind of thing. So, Arvin, let's not waste any time. Let's go and travel somewhere where we can go and catch some fish. Okay, Magnolia Blossom has a pond, so I'm going to be able to fish there. Okay, so first things first... Let's go catch some fish. Oh, and we can look for frogs here as well. Okay, we might just get two in one. So the fishing one, I reckon, is probably going to be the easiest one for Arvin to achieve. Because you can easily catch three fish in one sitting. So I don't think it will be too long at all before we go and find our first little friend. You just need to hurry it up there, Arvin. Try not to just catch a boot. He also doesn't have any skills. Except for what he's just got. Video gaming, photography, and fishing. Okay, I've got one fish, a tetra. Great success. One down, two more to go. Come on, Arvin, you're going to have to work harder than that. You don't want to be alone all your life. We have another tetra. Okay. Looks like the fish in this area are too crafty for Arvin. Okay. And also, Arvin couldn't catch a frog. Okay, well, let's take a look at your needs. You need to use the bathroom, which is fine. And there's a grill over here, so we don't need to try too hard. Let's just have some grilled fruit. And then maybe we'll head to Oasis Springs, because I'm pretty sure there's a fishing area there as well. All right, there we go. Grab a serving, and then I'll put the rest in your inventory, because I feel like that would come in handy. Of all the places you could go, Arvin, why are you just coming over here to sit by the kids, you creep? There were some perfectly good tables over there. Okay, so that's hunger being fulfilled. You should probably use the bathroom. Even though you supposedly just went, I guess you didn't. And then we'll go to Oasis Springs and see if we can catch one more fish. Needs are high, Arvin's happy. Let's go to Oasis Springs and see if we can catch that one last fish. I also need to keep my eyes peeled for some crystals as well. I feel like there might be some in the Oasis Springs park. Okay, Arvin, now if we're smart about this, we should be able to find quite a few things here. I think you should go fishing and look for some frogs. And then I will have a look around and see if I can find any, any crystals. There's another fishing spot right here. Any crystals around here for me? <gasps> oh, hello. So we will go and dig up that. That looks like a crystal to, if ever I did see one. How are you getting on with your fishing there, Arvin? Have you caught any yet? Come on, Arvin, we just need one more. Oh, I think that's our third fish. We got a goldfish. Great. Well done, Arvin. Okay, we'll just do a couple of things around here, and then we'll go and get our friend. Did you manage to catch a frog? <gasps> yes, we have one frog. Well, this is great. We've caught the three fish we need, plus we have a frog and soon one crystal. So we'll only need to get two more frogs and two more crystals. Wait, where are you going? Isn't that the crystal right there? Or is that a second one? Did I find two crystals? Or did I just click on the same one twice? Oh, I think we might have find, found two crystals. Oh, Oasis Springs, you never disappoint. Yeah, that was two crystals. Sweet. So that was one turquoise. I'm sure if I stick around and look hard enough, I'll even find another crystal here, but... I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Okay, great. So now that we have found our three fish, we've unlocked the map to go and find our first friend. And I will take you there. So our first friend is called Ares. He's a really good fisherman, so we could really do with him. And he lives in Mount Komarebi. He's a snowy looking fucker. He likes the, the cold weather. So we'll have to see if we can coax him out of leaving Mount Komarebi and moving in with us back to the island. Oh, looks like Arvin could use some sleep. Well, that's okay. We'll go visit our friend and then maybe we'll go get some sleep afterwards. Hopefully Ares is home. Shit, it looks like nobody's home. What are you talking about? Okay, fine. I'll just call him and ask him to meet me here. Tell him I've turned up at his house. Okay, apparently he's coming over, so I just have to keep my eyes peeled. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. How's it going? I have something for you. A few little presents from me to you. So we will give him three presents. We'll give him his three fish. I'm sure he will be thrilled because he loves fish. And hopefully that will set our friendship bar through the roof. And we'll be able to ask him to move in with us, I'm hoping. 
Aries, you're going to be so impressed when you see what I caught for you. Hey, no, don't go to the vending machine. Give Aries his other presents. You caught him three fish. He will be thrilled. Ah, they got a little sentiment together. Okay, we'll give him his last fish and hopefully then we'll be close enough to ask him to leave all this stuff behind and come and see me. Ah, these adorable little sentiments. Ask to join household. Let's go. What do you say, Aries? I got what you wanted me to get. Don't you think it's about time we join alliances again? Come join me on the island. What do you say? Hey. Okay. Aries has officially moved in with us. Let's go back to the island, Aries. I'll show you your hutch. You can keep the same one you had before. And we'll get you settled in. Okay, so Ares's hut is just behind Arvin's. You can tell which one's Arvin's because he's got a rather unflattering selfie above his door. So Ares, now that you're back, why don't you mark your territory? Can't quite get your, your whole face in, but that, that's fine. People will know it's you. Okay, perfect. Now he has his photo above his little hut, although kind of annoying that there's a gnome in there. And he's got his fish hanging up on his wall. So... Tell you what, Aries, why don't you go get some sleep? Arvin's already having a little bit of a sleep sleep. Perhaps when you wake up, Arvin, we can see how that request for a pen pal went. Because I feel like the postcards is probably going to be the longest mission to complete. But it also has the biggest payoff. Because Arvin does have a little love interest. And she is, funnily enough, the, one of the last creatures that we get to unlock. So... We'll have to work hard to get her back, hence the postcards. Oh, you're doing some laundry there. That is very helpful of you. Well done. You doing just your clothes or you doing ours too? Because, you know, we are a community here. So, that's all I'll say about that. Okay, Arvin, that's enough sleep. Have some of that stuff you grilled and then check for pen pals. And then we will turn our attention... Oh dear, that food's gone off. Sorry, buddy. And then we'll turn our attention to finding some crystals. Yo-ho, I've got myself a new matey from Barnacle Bay. Okay, great, great. So we're going to write a letter to our pen pal. And then we're going to see if we can find another pen pal. I want to have like three on the go. Okay, so we've just asked for another pen pal. We've written a letter to one of them. So now I think let's head out and see if we can find somewhere. Let's head out and see if we can find somewhere where we might be able to get a crystal. I think we should try Magnolia Blossom again. I think when it comes to collectibles, this is just a, a guess, but I reckon the base game worlds are probably the best places to go. Because that was when, you know, the idea of having collectibles was fresh in their, in their creators' minds. So I feel like this is probably my best bet. Also, I need to remember to use um, one of the creatures, the farmer's garden, because I need three harvestables, so I need to at least have three plants that I've grown enough. Okay, we're, oh, another crystal! Arvin is too uncomfortable to do this. Oh, fuck off, Arvin, don't give me that. When does it wear off? Oh, okay, in zero minutes, perfect. Okay, now dig for this crystal. We are progressing through this swimmingly. So is that our third crystal now? Is it? It looks like a mysterious time capsule. There better be a crystal in there. So there was like a poppy doll. So that wasn't a crystal then. Damn, I really, I had really got my hopes up there. Well, let's dig over here. I'm sure that won't be a crystal either, but you know what? Seeing as we're already here, we may as well take a look and then I'll keep my eyes peeled for maybe another crystal somewhere. Found a limestone, okay. Any more crystals hanging about? This looks like something here. I'm not sure if that's a crystal, but I guess we'll see. It looks like it to me, but then I thought the other one was a crystal too, and it wasn't, so... Oh, and there's a little thing where we can look for some frogs. Oh, great success. Right, come on, Arvin, hurry it up. we got to get our buddies together. Is it going to be a crystal? I think it is going to be a crystal. Yeah, it is. It's a quartz. All right, we've got three crystals. So let's check this uh, log out, see if we can find another frog. And then we'll go get some more friends. 
I found another frog. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Right, Arvin. So our next little friends are actually in Willow Creek, so we don't have to travel too far. So in this house, we have Rose and Ruby. They are lovers. This here is Rose. Hey, Rose. How's it going? We, we're really missing you over at the island. I'm guessing her wife, Ruby, is inside, so let's knock on the door. So Rose and Ruby are really good at, like, gardening, laundry. So they could be really helpful. Oh, it looks like Arvin has to use the bathroom. Oh, and there's, there's Ruby. Not exactly a mythical creature, but you know what? You make do with what you've got in The Sims 4. Okay, Arvin, go and use the bathroom then. You clearly need to. And then maybe take a shower while you're there. I'm sure the ladies won't mind. And then we'll give some gifts. We'll give some of our crystals, maybe to Ruby. And then we'll see if we can convince them to move back. So I've been going out. I've been digging everywhere to find crystals for you two. And I think you'll like what I found. They're not exactly rare crystals, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers, so. Got you a little something. Nothing big, just, you know, something to try and convince you to move back. And we have, what else? Oh, a diamond. Oh, they'll fucking love that. Got a nice diamond for you, Ruby. And also, finally, a quartz. And maybe, maybe you guys will let me use your shower before we go anywhere else. See if you can sneak a quick shower, Arvin. Oh, for some reason he can't use that shower. Okay, fine. Well, we'll ask these two to move back in with us and then we'll, we'll go find a shower ourselves. You guys want to move back to the island? Huh? Yeah. Great success. We've got Ruby and Rose back. Oh, this island is filling up already. Right, well then let's go home. Oh, it's snowing. Okay, Ruby, Rose, you've still got your hut just as you left it. Here it is. Haven't changed anything. Still intact. So we just need your photo above the door, if you don't mind. That will have to do. That terrifying picture will have to do. <laughs> okay, great success. So that's three huts we've managed to fill already. This is amazing. Right, before I forget, Arvin... We're going to borrow one of our little farm friends' gardens to purchase some seeds. I mean, they're not here anyway, so they're not going to care. We'll get some fruits, um, some vegetables. We want some that are in season. Now, these harvestables don't need to be great. We just need to produce something that we can harvest. That's all we need. So, to give myself enough time to do that, let's just plant a few things... And then hopefully by the time we've got the last frog and we've brought the next few creatures back, we might just have something to harvest. And then we'll check our pen pal status, see if we've got another pen pal. And maybe we'll have a nice little campfire party and maybe we'll sing a few songs for everybody to celebrate. I mean, our job's not finished, sure, but we've, we've made good progress. Oh, look, Rose is helping. Thanks, Rose. That's real nice of you. Cheers. Okay, we have some plants on the way. How about... It's getting cold. Why don't we light the fire? And then we'll all hang out. We'll all just sit around the log. I can see Aries is roasting some veggie dogs there. Arvin's whipped the old guitar out to entertain everyone. See, guys, isn't life a lot nicer when we group together? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe one of you should add a log, make this fire burn a little brighter. What a beautiful moment for everybody. Yeah, so glad we're all back together. Well done, Arvin. Great guitar playing. Good for you. Right, uh, that's quite enough celebrating, I think. Probably time to see if we can get a postcard and also see if we have found yet another pen pal. Check for pen pal replies. See if we've got another one. I can write another letter to Barnacle Bay. I have already sent one, but do I need to ask for a postcard or will they just send me one, I wonder? Don't have any mail yet, so maybe my little pirate friend will send me something. We have a new pen pal from Sunset Valley. Okay, good. Well, then in that case, we'll write a letter to our little buddy in Sunset Valley as well. And then also we need to find a pen pal for the last time. In fact, I might just get you a little postcard corkboard. Actually, no. 
there isn't much point because you're going to be giving them his gifts anyway, so... I keep forgetting that Arvin doesn't get to keep all the stuff he collects. But you know what? All that scavenging around has given you some things, like this cool little Simmy doll. So there's that. Okay, so we have a few things already in the pipeline. We've got some harvestables growing, and it looks like we're making great progress there. I didn't even check what season. Oh, right, these two are out of season. Shit. What is that that is growing? Is that the grapes? Grapevine, okay. Maybe I'll plant one more grape then, because they seem to be in season. So we'll plant our grape, and then we'll have three harvestables, hopefully. We've got three postcards in the works. So we're basically working on everything we need. The only thing we have to actually go out and find now is one more frog. You're looking a bit grubby there, Arvin. That little fur costume looks like it's seen some better days. One thing I do wonder, which would be pretty cheeky, is when I click on my own pond, there is an option to look for frogs. I don't think there are any in here. But you know what? We'll definitely take a look. Because if I can get away with finding myself a frog on my own land, then that, that would be ideal, wouldn't it? Did you find a frog? <gasps> oh no, I don't think so. Arvin couldn't catch a frog. They're slippery. Better luck next time. Try, try again. Try again, Arvin. Still no. Still no frogs. All right. We'll try. We'll try one more time. And if we can't find a frog, then we'll go. We'll go somewhere else where we have more chance of actually catching a frog. No. All right. Let's head out then, Arvin. Maybe we'll have a better chance in one of the parks. Right. I'm trying to think of where is most likely to have frogs. Because believe it or not, I don't always keep my eye out for stuff like this. I could go here. I know that this area is really big, so it might take me a really long time. But maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find one fairly quickly. Okay, Arvin, keep your eyes peeled. There's a pond right here. Oh, shit. Could we find one right now? Look for frogs. Maybe we'll find... Oh, that was a bit easier than I thought, actually, if we, if we can get one right here. See if you can find a frog, Arvin. Just get your head in the game. Try and concentrate. Oh, no luck. Couldn't find any frogs. Anywhere else I might be able to find one of those slippery little fuckers? Oh, I can harvest a raspberry from this bush. So there's that would be one harvestable done. But where else can I find frogs? There's another pond over here. So, oh, here's a log. I can look for frogs in here. Perfect. Anything in there for me? At least just one froggy? <gasps> Yes, okay, I've got myself a dirt frog, so that means I should have three frogs, perfect. Okay, well, Arvin, we can go get some more friends, and I know exactly where to find them. We have another romantic couple, this time in Oasis Springs. Hey, lads. So here we have Toady and Grumps, madly in love, and I'm hoping that they will be happy with the frogs that I've caught them. So let's start with the leopard frog. Hopefully, Toadie is impressed by that. You guys are really going to love it on the island. Seriously, there's so much to do. Loads of frogs over there that I'm sure you'll be able to catch. You'll be in your element. It'll be great time for everyone involved. How about a striped leaf frog? Oh, he's thrilled. He's so happy. Okay, let's give him the last frog. Oh, he didn't like that present. Oh, shit. That's not great. That's just ungrateful. How about a dirt frog? I think he's not going to like the dirt frog either because it's an uncommon frog. Poor Arvin is sad for the unappreciated gift. Does he like that frog? Okay, he does like that frog. Great, great. Looks like Arvin's getting a bit hungry. Thankfully, though, we do have some uh, fruit in our inventory, so we should be able to manage. We'll be fine. Just need to put in a little bit more effort with these guys. Because one of them didn't like the present, so we kind of went back. So we need to try and rebuild that friendship so we can ask them to move in again. Okay, are we in, like, move-in territory yet? No, not quite. Okay, here we go. Ask to join household. Guys, I know you've been sunning yourselves in Oasis Springs, but it really is time for you to come back home to the island. Okay, what do you say? Huh? What do you say? Yes, great success, Grumps and Toady are moving in with us. Perfect. Let's go home and get you guys settled in. Ah, our little island is slowly being filled again. 
and now it's thriving with six best friends. Okay, Grumps and Toad, let me remind myself. I believe this is Grumps and Toad's hut. Oh, Arvin's unhappy from eating fruitcake. Arvin, you've got some vegetables in here, okay? So just eat a banana, an apple, and a green pea, okay? You'll be fine. Grumps and Toad, you guys maybe wanna take your selfies? Oh, you were really making yourself at home again, huh? Fair enough. Oh, you know what I kind of want to do? I want to see if I can go into the pond. Just a little side thing for me. Can I go under the water? Yes, I can. Oh, oh my God, look at this. It's like I'm one of the fish. I can see the duck's feet flapping. Oh, my little fish friends. Oh, guys, you know what? Fuck this Let's Play. I'm going to be a fish now. This is just going to be the rest of the video. It's just me and my fish friends. My best friends. Okay, well, this is getting a bit boring now, actually. The fish all kind of look the same. Yeah. All right, let's get back to the, the video. Oh, are you guys reconnecting as friends? That's cute. What beautiful singing, Toady. Serenading Aries. Very nice. Right, Toady, stop dicking about. Okay, come on, get out the, get out the hot spring. We need to get your photo so everyone knows which hut is yours. Oh, beautiful. Wow, what a great... <sighs> the fuck is this? Perfect. What if I try getting Toadie to take the picture instead of Grumps? Maybe we'll have a slightly better outcome if we try it that way? Oh, it's just gonna be the fucking hat, isn't it? Okay, that's a bit better. At least you can see their faces, kind of. So, that one's gonna have to do. Okay, perfect. We'll just add a nice wooden frame onto that. And then they've got their little froggies in here. So that they can keep an eye on them. Great. Okay, Grumps, Toady, you're all set. Arvin, how are you getting on? Well, he needs the bathroom. We do have a communal toilet out back here. So go and use the bathroom. And then we'll see how our pen pals are getting on. Hey, hey, Toad, you've only just got here, mate. Fuck off. I'm going to have to lock that computer just for Arvin, aren't I? Because you guys are going to be a pain in my ass. Lock computer for everyone but Arvin. These are where my pen pals live. I don't want you guys fucking it up by sending some joke trying to screw me over. So we're gonna ask for a postcard from Barnacle Bay and we will also ask for a postcard from Sunset Valley and then we'll see if we manage to get a third pen pal. Guys, can you like go back to your own huts, please? It's great that we're all hanging out together, but, you know, this is my space. That's the point of these huts. So, maybe if you guys could fuck... Uh, or just make yourselves welcome. Sure, I don't mind. Yeah, it's nice to have you back. So, I guess, you know, just use all my stuff. Yeah, sure. I feel like that would be Arvin, though. I feel like he would be a bit of a pushover. Poor guy. Yeah, j just use my guitar. I don't mind. That's only, like, my favourite thing in the world. So... Yeah, you use it. Sure. How posh. It looks like I've got a new pen pal from Bridgeport. <gasps> okay, great. So let's maybe write a letter to our Bridgeport friend. And then maybe we'll see if we can request a postcard from them as well. And then I'm just going to send Arvin to sleep. Okay, so hopefully we'll get some postcards soon. We already have one harvestable. And I reckon I might be able to get two tomorrow. Because these are starting to grow. Can I harvest from them yet? Oh, no, not yet. But hopefully soon. Guys, seriously, fuck off. Can I just send everyone to bed? Because you guys are pissing me right off. Right, there you go. You're all going to bed. Get out of my hair. Go to sleep. Please, just give me a break. Okay, it's a new day. All I have left is to get three postcards, which are kind of in the pipeline. I mean, I'll see if I can request an, a third postcard. It might be a bit too soon. Oh, here we go. Ask for a postcard from Bridgeport. So I've done everything I can to try and get some postcards sent to me. So hopefully the mail is delivered fairly soon. But my focus for today is collecting my harvestables. Unfortunately, I don't think my little plants have grown enough for me to harvest anything from them. So I might go out and see if I can find maybe two more harvestable items. I think Henford on Bagley is probably gonna be my best bet because that's where I found the first harvestable. 
So, Arvin, let's see if we can harvest some shit. Let's go. We're going to go back to the park, see if we can find some more things to harvest. All right, let's take a look. I feel like harvestables shouldn't be too hard to find, she says. But I do have my eyes peeled, so they're in the best position they could be to look for harvestables. Any harvestables for me? Don't see anything. Maybe this was a mistake. Perhaps I was being too ambitious in thinking that I might find something here. Well, I don't see anything. God damn, I really hate collecting harvestables in this game. <laughs> Such a pain in the ass. Right, I'm gonna go somewhere else. This part of the map is just too big. I wonder if I can, what if I harvest from someone else's garden? Can I harvest from someone else's garden? From their hard work? <gasps> harvest crop. Harvest crop, there we go. I can even sell someone else's crops that they've grown. <laughs> well, that's not right, is it? But I do have three harvestables, so pretty happy about that. And we're in just the correct world that we need to be in to get our next friends. So let's go find them. Okay, so now we have our little farm friends. Another couple, so many couples. This is the, the home of Lily and Root. Root is a farmer, Lily takes care of the animals. So we're gonna see if we can convince them to move back to the island. Hey there, Root, how's it going, man? I know you've been trying to get some harvestables together, so I took the liberty of going out and finding some for you. Got you a nice raspberry and a small aubergine. Do you love it, huh? Do you love it? And some lettuce as well. Unappreciated gift, oh, he. He didn't like the raspberry. Well, what about the aubergine? Happy? Happy? Oh, uh, no, he didn't appreciate that gift either. Okay, let's try and build this friendship back up so we can at least ask him and his wife to move back in with us. Okay, we're in, we're in. Hey, Lily. Looking beautiful, as always. Right, let's see if we can convince Lily and Groot to move back. It's just not the same without you guys. We need someone to grow our crops and take care of our animals. Okay, surely we can ask them to move in now. Here we go, ask to join household. Perfect. Good old Root and Lily, welcome back. Okay, let's go back to the island. It's probably going to be a while before we get those postcards, but it's okay because Lily and Root have got a bit of work to do. They need to plant a few things. We'll get some animals going. So we've got a little bit of setting up to do anyway, so I'm not too worried about how long that takes. Oh, it looks like we do have some mail though, so maybe I'll get Arvin to check the mail. Meanwhile, Lily, how about you get us a cow, maybe a nice brown cow, and then also, Lily, maybe you could get us some chickens and some hens. Okay, perfect. Root has already started gardening, so that's great. Okay, Root, why don't you start working on the plants? I can see Lily is already scattering some feed, so we'll be able to have some eggs soon. So we've sorted out eggs, milk, vegetables, and fruit. Arvin, what was... <gasps> oh, shit, Arvin. Well, that didn't take anywhere near as long as I thought it would. We already have three postcards. Well, before we do anything else, let's just make sure we've got Lily and Root completely set up. So we'll get them to take a selfie. This is their home. So I'll also go ahead and assign their beds so everyone knows not to trespass on their little hutch. Why are we all having a meeting in here, guys? Is it because we all know we're about to be one complete village? Okay, there we go. Lily is arguably stealing the show there, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. There we go. Lily and Root are all set up. They've got their bed. They've got their hutch. Perfect. Now, Arvin, we have gathered our last collectible. What do we have? We've got two Barnacle Bay postcards, three Sunset Valley postcards, and some bills. I guess we'll pay our bills. Also, we didn't even get a postcard from Bridgeport yet. Huh, sweet. Okay. Well, that means we could probably give away the three postcards we needed to give away, and we'll also be able to keep some for our little hutch. So let's just get you to pay the bills, use the toilet, and then we will go and get the last two creatures. And then our island will be officially complete. 
and Arvin will finally be reunited with the love of his life. So we should have a nice happy ending. Hurry up, Arvin. We don't have all day. Come on. Okay. So as I said, I do have the, na the map to where we have to go next, so let's go. So now we are travelling all the way to Sulani to go and get Timmy and Tallulah Bugs, who are a pair of bunnies, brother and sister, and Tallulah is someone that we have had our eye on for quite some time. So I think Arvin's hoping to get lucky. Oh, here they are. Hey guys, hey Timmy. Hey Tallulah. Enthuse about guitar solos. Maybe insinuate that you might do a little, a little serenade for her. Let's give her a postcard to Barnacle Bay. Oh, I did get a Bridgeport postcard as well. Okay, let's give her a Barnacle Bay um, postcard because she would love that, I think. And then maybe we'll discuss world peace because, you know, she probably loves all that shit. Hopefully that will uh, impress her. We'll ask her about her day and then we'll give her another postcard. This time for Sunset Valley. We should probably maybe brighten her day as well. I think she'd really like that. Yeah, Tallulah, that's for you. That's for you. I had to find myself a pen pal for that. So, you know, you're welcome. Not saying we should kiss or anything, just, you know, did work pretty hard for that. Okay, let's give her the, uh, the Bridgeport postcard. Then we'll ask her if she wants to move in. Her and her bro. Yep, open up. What do you think? Pretty impressive, huh? Yeah. I thought you'd like it. Okay. Oh, actually, no. I can't. I don't think I can. So I already have my maximum eight sims, but I did change my settings in MC Command Center to allow ten. So can I just move them right in? Yeah, okay. It's not going to let me do that. But what I can do is I can just add them to my family. So Tallulah is part of the family. Now I just need to knock on the door and add Timmy to the family as well. Where is he? There he is. Come on, Tim Tim. Welcome back to the island. So let's go back there. Okay, well, here we go. I never thought this day would come, guys. I really never thought it would come. We're finally reunited. Okay, so Timmy, this is your bedroom, buddy. Just how you left it. I will assign your bed... And then we'll just get you to take just a cheeky selfie so everyone knows that your hut is yours. We only got one eye in it, but that's fine. That will do. All right, Tim, let's just add a nice little wooden frame. Perfect. And Tallulah, let's get you to take a selfie as well so everyone knows which hutch is yours. Tallulah, hurry up. Don't dick about. Come on. Okay, so her photo is like identical to her brother's also incompetent at taking a simple selfie. Well done, Tallulah. Good for you. Okay, so Tallulah is over here. She's got a two-story hutch, and I think we will pop our postcards up here. Beautiful. Okay, perfect. Now every creature has a home, and every hutch has an owner. I knew this day would come. And you know what? Let's, I think we should celebrate. Let's light the fire. We'll invite some people to hang out. Maybe I'll even get you guys a stereo. What kind of music should we listen to? Maybe a little bit of electronica? Perfect. I'm so happy everyone's finally together again. We got some people partying over here. Arvin, I'm so proud of you for bringing everyone together. Well done. Finally, a community. And now, there's just one thing left to do. Make a flirtatious joke with Tallulah. It's time you got your happy ending as well, buddy. Maybe we'll see if we can catch her in between dancing. Oh, here we go. Just a, just a little flirtatious joke. Tallulah, I've, we've had our eye on you for a while now. We always thought you were just really cute. And I just wondered whether maybe you might want to, I don't know, barbecue something together sometime or relax in the hot springs together sometime. I don't know. Oh, things have turned flirty. Fuck off, Rue. I'm trying to make some moves here. You guys carry on having a great time. Me and Tallulah are just hanging out. Oh, they can snuggle. Oh, guys, do it. Just have a little snuggle. The brother is like, uh, so what's going on here then? Don't worry, Timmy. You just, you, you dance. Oh, it's turned into an amorous exchange. Their faces have gone into each other. Whisper sweet nothings. The sweetest of nothings. I just want to try and get to like first kiss territory here. 
Maybe we can tease flirtatiously. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I think they're just having a little bit of a snuggle while everyone else is having a little dance in the background. Okay, have we done enough to maybe get our very first kiss? I think we may have. Oh, congratulations, Arvin. Congratulations, man. You earned it. Happy days. And he's even got a good reputation. Well, that seems like a great, a great point to, uh, to leave this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. A bit different than normal, but, you know, sometimes different is fun. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.